Well, the fog is still here from yesterday. No wind to speak of, that's why the fog is hanging around. I got knives to deliver. We got to talk about this box. And more knives over here. And let's take a look at the forecast. 60 to 76 is a high with rain and thunderstorms in the p.m. East 7 to 14. Tomorrow it's going to be 77 to 83. Now I like that. A couple showers and thunderstorms. South southeast 8 to 16. Now south southeast is a good breeze for us. Friday 78 to 84. Mostly humid. South southwest 7 to 14. Three good days. Well, two good days of rain. Maybe. And heat. Humid. Mmm. I know the tide's going to be terrible. Come on, Gladys. Six fifty five, six fifty six where I live. Landonada is I gotta go over a little bit. Five forty eight. I might get in a spin to Landonada today. That wouldn't be too bad in the three o'clock, three thirty. The cave is uh seven forty tonight. So we got possibilities. Let's see what the weather's like. I'll get back to you. Well, there's the Wisconsin. Again. That's a big ticket, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know how long it is. You'd have to look it up in a Google it, find out how long it is. But I can tell you it's long. <laughs> it's got plenty of big guns on it too. Can you imagine that thing going in the ocean? God. I figure we take a quick spin here while we're coming back home. You can see, <laughs> well, you can see what Wisconsin was. It was beautiful, but over here, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's still foggy. You can't even see the island. You can't see the bridge tunnel. That's fog is laying in here because not much wind to move it out. The water looks nicer than the tide's really high. That's just the time of day it is. Look at that. Fogzilla. Fog is creepy, boy, I tell you. When I was straw boat fishing off in the ocean, fog it would mess with your mind bad. You didn't believe anything in those days. Electronics wise, I mean. Hey, let's get into this box. Came in yesterday. You know what's inside of it? Look at that. New headphones. I should say new headphones to me. From my good detecting buddy who makes these headphones in California, Mr. Tony. Tony Eisenhower. And here's what he has to say. If I can find it. Here it is right here. He says, uh, Hey, Max, so these are not brand new. They came back to me because the customer wanted to swap them out for a right-hand pair. They do have a couple of miles on them, but I refurbished like new and the new cord and speakers. I didn't, I couldn't think of a better softball to have them. I actually kind of got tired of watching you hunt with someone else's kit. So wear these damn things once in a while. And the best, bud, I hope you stay safe. 
all from Southern California, Tony Eisenhower. Ha <laughs> ha, cool. You remember when I got my 800, I got a set of these. And I really liked them over the, over the ones that I tried. But then when I decided I was going to go diving with the gig master, I sent, well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. When I sold my 800 to Tony, to Terry in, Calif in California, I sent the, these white Tony Eisenhower phones with it. And I bought a set of Patriots from Joe DiMarco with the drain holes in them so you could go in the water with them. But since I'm not diving with the 800 or the 600, these will be perfect. These are much better sound quality than any phones I ever used for the, for the Knox. But that was only like three or four pair. I, I haven't tried a whole lot of phones. So we'll hook these up to Mr. Denny's detector. I uh, did send mine off today to uh, Pennsylvania to get the battery thing fixed. And they're burning pretty quick. I should get it back in a day or two. And we'll plug these babies right in. Thank you, Tony. They're fine looking heaters. I mean, headphones for my heater. Comfortable, too. That's what I like. It's uh, Thursday about 12. 30. It's raining, been blowing, not blowing so much, just raining. I got some knives this morning I picked up from a lady at about 11. Two knives, two pair of scissors, and a pair of pinkers, and three little rotary cutting blades. About a month ago, I was asked to do a donation to a task, a mask making task force. So I did. Part of the deal was I sharpened two pair of scissors, two knives, and some rotary blades for free uh, and they raffled off the tickets well I don't know how many they end up raffling off but this is the first return from that raffle so I'm gonna I just sharpen these I'm getting ready to take them by our house in a few minutes but it's I mean then I'm headed to the Apple store to get my computer checked out I'll get back to you rocket scientist I just got a call from Chris. She said, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to the Apple store. And drop those knives and scissors off. She said, you better come back home. I said, why? She says, you forgot your computer. God. It's like going to the beach and leaving your scoop. I'm just glad to be here. Well, looks like it's going to be a knife kind of day. I got a lady just pick, text me a picture of a million knives. And some guy just called me and says, Max, uh, I'm looking for your business, but I'm in a neighborhood. And says, I'm on the street, but you must be an independent contractor. Work from home. I said, <laughs> I guess I am. My wife will be there. Drop them off with her. Well, it's rained a couple times. Since I've been gone to the Apple store, the, the plug is bad in the end of my computer. I'll show you. It's in the left-hand side of the MacBook. Apparently, the girl said it's been bad for a while. That's what's causing all the charging plugs I got to go bad. So they had to order it apart, take about a couple days to get it in, and take two to three or four, uh, two to three days to fix it. She said off sooner. Uh, so one day next week, I hope I have to put it in the shop. And there is a gathering, a gathering of knives in that bag right there. I dropped off all the big load I picked up the other day. And the scissors from this morning. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. economics gray matter city coming up on the right some depositors out today as high
looks like Chris has got knives for me too when I got home. Look at that. I don't know what's in here. Good gracious. This charger is like 16 months old. This charger is about two months old. Here's the culprit right there. This, this, whatever that plug is right there is, is causing the other charging plug here to go bad. So they have to replace that piece right there. Bummer. Well, we're bound to dockside. I have outside dining with the low tide Tim and his wife. First time we tried that. Outside dining. Boy, it's been raining. It rained a bucket full a few minutes ago. But this, this, this is a big deck, so it's deck. It's got a roof on it. You know what I mean? It's just open on the front the sides and everything. Clams Casino. They'll take your breath away right there. I think what not. Well, I'm chowder about a bowl. <laughs> But I couldn't believe the difference in the picture. That's amazing. Yummy. A Greek salad with steamed shrimp on the side. I'm going to cut the shells off of them and put them in the, the salad. the biggest shrimp. Oh. Soft crab, right. my leader. Mm -hmm. That's a soft crab sandwich with no bread. And that's fried shrimp. For low tide Tim and more soft crabs for his bride. I'll get a couple more of these. There's two here that we haven't used. We're not going to use them. People getting the boats worked on. The weather's been nice and people are taking the boats out. Well, the rain has subsided. Mm -hmm. All we got now is find our way to the truck. Oh, I take that back. It's sprinkling. Look at that. That baby's been there as long as I've been around here. I don't know how long it's been there, but a long time. That's a fine ticket right there. Well, it's Saturday. 12.30. I just got to cutting the grass and edging. I'm headed over to pick up a lawnmower blade. One of my returning customers. Farmer's market. Well, I shouldn't. I just got to load my truck up as well for the farmer's market tomorrow. And, uh, the weather is iffy. As you can see, it's iffy right now. That's where the guru lives right now. They had a guru. But the real guru, he lives in Portsmouth. Kissed by the sun. Guess what I just picked up at Eddie's house. There were valleys where rivers. Eddie and the Moles man, they went to uh, the oak tree this morning. With white Pickings were kind of skim. But the big slew and all was, was improvement a little bit. I may have to try it. Danny found a uh, I've got a bling ring. A little bit of it, a little bit of that same thing Eddie did. Nothing, nothing extraordinary. It, I think they went early, like 6:30, 7 o'clock. So with nobody on the beach but them. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, it's raining now. I'm glad I got the grass cut when I did. All edged and ready to go. Rain. Look at this right here. I just picked it up from Mr. Eddie. New seals, new new uh, new carburetor parts. Seals are working fine. New seals in the air compressor. Diaphragms were okay in the, in the mouthpieces. All I need is an inner tube. And 
There's a white air thing that goes in the airline, which I don't have yet. But I got plenty of time because I ain't going for a month maybe. There's the stuff I picked up. An old antique set of hedge trimmers. And a lawnmower blade. I got them out here. I put some WD-40 on them. That'll take a wire wheel and clean them up a little bit. It don't rain too hard.